Hello everyone, so here is Post News app. Uh, it's trending right now. Um, it's considered one of the alternatives for Twitter. It's in very early stages at, at this moment, it's like beta version. Uh, you can only get here through the waiting list, so you need to go and sign up on post.news for the waiting list and then uh, probably you're gonna be accepted, but I don't know the terms. There were more than 130,000 people on the waiting list already, so probably it's getting closer to, you know, hundreds of thousands or a million right now. But anyhow, I got access, so I'll just show you a preview of this app. So it looks very minimalistic. Um, yeah, very nice, easy design. Everything kind of super similar to Twitter with few additional features. Uh, yeah, to be clear, there is no Android native app or uh, iPhone iOS app. It's not on Google Play Store or iOS App Store. It's just you can access it via browser. Uh, just go to Safari or go to Google Chrome. If you really want to have an app experience or close to it, just tap on your profile on top left and then you can just tap install a post news app and then open in, in Safari, tap share icon and uh, add it like to the home screen like this and then just tap add and then uh, you will be able to to click on it like as an uh, icon like this um, and then you can also like remove it or uh, so you can just drag it around uh, so something around that uh, yeah, it's just easier experience uh, for, for your home screen. Anyhow, so here you can see all the posts. You can like those, uh, you can reshare them, um, you kind of retweet. Uh, um, uh, yep, something like that. As I said, like the app uh, is really basic right now. Um, there aren't like some huge features, but they're coming, they're more and more being developed. The team is really working super hard, I think, to push all of these new features. Uh, to create a post, you just tap on this pencil icon in the bottom right, and then uh, you can write some content, uh, and then you can attach some image from your camera roll, from your photo library, or just add some selfie. Uh, then there is your icon in the top right where you can select the privacy of this post, similar as on Twitter. So you have everyone, only followers, only readers mentioned um, who can do that. And then uh, you can select Twitter, automatically share your content with all your Twitter followers. That feature is coming soon or you can select my, make this post paid. Post must uh, have 280 characters to add a paywall. You can set the price before publishing, so you can also do that. Um, so that's basically the, the idea. And then, uh, yeah, some features are still is still coming. It's interesting feature with, with the paywall. I'm not saying the post news is kind of like OnlyFans, but definitely they're trying this concept. And compared to Twitter, on post news, you have much more uh, monetization features, like you can tip uh, uh, users, uh, you can hide your post under, under paywall, and there's like your payment dashboard. So this app is kind of much more focused on monetization aspect for creators. So if you have a huge following on this app in some time in future, if you're really providing some insights or some cool creative content, then probably you can uh, really earn some revenue. I guess that's that's the idea. And then you can just tap post in the top right and then you will post uh, something to your feed. So you can go to any profile. Uh, you can tap follow to follow them. You can unfollow, then there are three dots. You can share a profile, you can flag or report. So as you can see, there aren't that many followers yet. Peop there's not like thousands. Uh, followers, people are just definitely giving a try to this app, trying it out. Um, and then, yeah, here in top left, you have uh, your profile. Uh, you can go to your profile. Here you have the balance of your points. Uh, so that's, uh, you can add more points, you can buy them. 
uh, you can buy 300 points for $4.20. Uh, uh, you can also add like a payment method, just basically at the moment it's just credit card. I'm not sure if they accept PayPal or Pioneer or crypto. Uh, I don't think so at, at this moment. Um, so here you have these points, uh, sorry, points uh, for payments. Um, when you uh, create an account, you instantly you're getting 50 uh, points uh, in the beginning. Then you can just edit your profile. You can add your social links, change your username once when you create your account, uh, add your bio location, and that's basically it. Add your profile picture. Um, then you will see all your posts. You can delete your previous posts. You can see your replies. You can see your media. So as you can see, super similar layout as you have on Twitter. But that's what makes it easy. It's not as you know Mastodon or something where you need to re-educate yourself completely how uh, social media works. Here it's like very minimalistic and very easy to understand. Uh, I just want to go back to my profile. The app also can be just a bit buggy um, because there are so many new users trying it out or uh, is still in beta. Um, then there are settings. You can see who you're following, who are your followers. Uh, Um, yeah, then there are payments, which is interesting feature. So here you can see all your transactions. Um, and then for example, yeah, there is an account where you can change your mail password. You can, uh, see your payments dashboard, deposits dashboard. You can add your wallet, which I showed. And then there is like about. And then there's help and support. So for example, if you want to delete your account, I would just go through here, so we'll delete uh, through the support section. There is no option to delete an account right in the app. Um, yeah, it's not there. So if you're concerned about like your private data or just uh, that, just tap to delete your account in the support. I actually prefer that apps clearly have that button to delete an account on my personal data right in the app. So I don't need to reach out to support that shows off like some high quality app. So I hope they will add it here in the future. Um, so yeah. And then if I go again to my home feed, I think there is no like some huge algorithm at the moment. So it's very chronological order of these tweets or over these posts. Uh, then, for example, you want to tap tip and that's where you need to have uh, points. So you want to tip uh, someone with a uh, with amount to tip. 100% of the tip will go to the creator. Uh, you can pay with post balance or you can buy more post points here. So that's kind of like a tip jar feature. Uh, that's how creators can monetize their content just by tipping. Uh, on YouTube is like super thanks. Uh, also on Twitter, you have this like tip jar, you have it. Then also creators can create the paywall content as on OnlyFans. So that's also quite interesting. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's about that. Uh, you can go through and explore more through their FAQ section, uh, points, payments, creator tools, flagging content. Um, what is post, how to sign up. Uh, how do you share a post, how to link the So, uh, so again, to delete your account, please email support at post news with the following subject line and details below subject line to activate and delete link to your profile reason for requesting to have your uh, account deleted. The email must come from the same email address that is associated with your account. 
so yeah anyhow this is just a quick overview of the post news app definitely give it a try it's it's uh, it's getting more popular uh, on twitter people are mentioning that as a possible alternative so give it a try